We've also shown this guy enjoying some M&Ms. He appears to be enjoying them a bit too much, as you can probably tell by all of them falling out of his mouth and onto the ground. Just like in our Clostridium botulinum image, the M&Ms here should help you remember that Bacillus anthracis is a spore-forming organism. Now we've added a backpack to the scene. They're campers after all, so a backpack seems pretty fitting. Notice that some edamame is poking out of her backpack and is falling on the ground. Edamame sounds like edema, so in this image, it's used to represent edema factor. Edema factor is an exotoxin and is one of three virulent proteins produced by Bacillus anthracis, so edamame for edema factor. Edema factor works by mimicking adenylate cyclase, which causes increased cyclic AMP. C-A-M-P spells camp, so we thought the tense would be helpful in remembering that these two hikers are camping. Therefore, the purple tense should help you remember that Bacillus anthracis is gram-positive and that edema factor increases cyclic AMP. As the toxin causes cyclic AMP levels to rise, it results in edema, which is why the toxin is called edema factor. Okay, now we've added a bunch of ants on this girl's backpack. They've probably picked up on the scent of food from all of that edamame falling out of her backpack, and now they're trying to get to it. The fact that the girl's backpack is protecting her from all of the ants biting her back should help you remember that another virulent protein of Bacillus anthracis is protective antigen. Very simply, protective antigen is produced by the bacteria and is a binding moiety for edema factor and lethal factor. We'll talk about lethal factor in a second. Interestingly, protective antigen is called protective because when our antibodies bind to it, they protect us from the infection. However, don't get confused and think that protective antigen is something humans produce. It's a dangerous toxin produced by Bacillus anthracis. So again, backpack protecting the hiker girl from ant bites for protective antigen. The third virulent protein produced by Bacillus anthracis is lethal factor. To represent this, we've added this sign with a skull on it. The sign was placed here because somebody thought it would be a good idea to warn other travelers about this huge ant hill. However, these two goons clearly don't seem to care too much. A skull is kind of like a symbol for lethality, so we thought a skull sign would work well for lethal factor. Lethal factor is thought to be associated with cutaneous anthrax, which we'll discuss in a minute. So, skull sign for lethal factor. 